There was another slave um, rebellion that started out with him too. It was in Virginia when they were basically migrating the slaves from from Virginia to, Nass to, to Nassau, to Barbados. That's when the problems had hit. The rebellion had took place. And it, the people didn't even understand. The people who were basically were colonizing and owning plantations thought that this situation was, was an outrage. In the midst of the battle, and it also escalated the battle that started place with the Civil War also as well too. So he was very crafty when what he was doing, considering the fact that he was he was playing opposite sides of the fence. He was put once he was playing with the northern, and then he was playing the opposite with with the southern. End. So that's what made him very clever handed. But in that midst, situations had caused to be the most savage war ever during the um that that period. In the midst of all of this, there was another thing that he had done that was about outrage. Now I'm getting to the part with the insurance. Now, he was also in charge of the import-export of slaves, which means that the slaves were cargoed from, from Africa, going to Virginia, and then sometimes they went from Barbados in various parts. However, there was, he also sold the slaves. He will basically sell them through wholesale and give it to wholesale shippers to plantation owners so they can also recycle and make a profit. In the midst of this, he decided to sell to this farmer who was extremely rich. For some reason, the slaves that he had was enough for over 150000 and he wasn't able enough to sell them. Come to find out, he turned around and said that the ship was with the original slaves had something happened to them and how the slip ship was tarnished. But in the midst of that, he received his compensation from the insurance. So when he, he turned around and gave the defective slaves that had TB, yes, tuberculosis. So once the man found out, that's how the plague has started too. And the man found out about it. He tried to say that I can't sell these slaves. I need to have this wedge up. So he played this rule that and told the insurance company to deny him. Then he represented. Let me tell you the speech that he made. And that's going to be in the next part. Then because of the midst of his persuasion, that caused them not to, to deny his claim. So the man said, no, he's going to take it to court. So when he took it to court, that's when he came with the arts of persuasion and using because they said he was very good, crafty when it came to psychology sociology and also with philosophy too so he played that with the law and also with the language to tell them about making profits and stuff like that and so forth in the business strategy so he was mostly like teaching instead of being a person that was debating against this so that his insurance can win